Welcome to our online election board training for inspectors. This training will allow you to understand your role as an inspector. If you have, if you have not reviewed the online training for clerks and judges, we ask that, ask that you first review that training before reviewing the inspector training. Inspectors are paid $9.60 an hour plus 58.5 cents per mile reimbursement. The inspector will receive $7 for supply pickup as a stipend. The inspector serves as the supervisor of the precinct. You will find the inspector's duties on page 9 to 15 of the election board manual. One to two weeks before the election, the inspector must contact the polling place to make arrangements for, at that facility is open at 7 a.m. on election day and for any other arrangements you may need on election day. Call your board workers to confirm that they are planning on working. If a board worker indicates they cannot work, please call Scott immediately. The new express vote will be, will be picked up when you pick up your supplies uh, the day before the election. Also check the voting area so that you have familiarity of how to set up the polling, the voting area. Make sure you have an extra table available for voters who would like to sit to vote. The day before the election, pick up your supplies, uh, ballots and supplies pick up. You'll pick those up at the election office, uh, which will include your ballots, your ballot supply box, ballot box, signage, polling booths, and your ballot return box. Please follow the election supply uh, pickup map on page 11 of your manual. Before leaving the parking lot, please make sure you have all of your supplies. Check that you have the ballots for your precinct, and if you are in a precinct with more than one ballot style, that you have all the proper ballot styles. Also make sure that you have the ballots for each of the political parties, since this is a partisan primary election. Double check that you have your list of registered voters for your precincts. This should be in the blue book in your ballot box. Make sure you ask for any additional signs that you may need. Please follow the election supply pickup map on page 11 of your manual. The day of the election. If you have an absent election board worker, please contact Scott in the election office immediately. Make sure every election board worker has signed the oath on the front of the sign-in register. Make sure everyone has completed the payroll form. Set up the express vote. Set up the, ex the voting booths. Unpack the supply box. Black pins will be used to mark the ballot. Make sure you have your black pins. We are no longer using pencils. Post all signs. Those are listed on page 13 of your manual. Post the sample ballot. For this election, please post one for each political party. Check your ballot for precinct name, for style number, if you're in one of those precincts that have more than one ballot style. Publicly open the ballot box so all board workers can see that the ballot box is empty. Then lock the ballot box up. You will receive a list of voters who cast an early ballot after the list of registered voters was printed. Please print the word absentee in the column, print voter's name column, so you will know that this voter has requested an early vote ballot. Brief your workers. Review procedures and duties for each election board worker. Initial, make sure your election board workers understand that to make a ballot official, that it must contain two sets of initials at the bottom of ballot of, of board workers of different political party affiliations. On page 15 of your manual, you will find a suggested polling place layout. In your ballot box, you will find your spoiled and rejected ballot envelopes. You will also find your express vote testing materials. Please follow the instructions on the front of the sign-in register and what, what should be sign-in register envelope on what should be placed in the sign-in register at the end of the night. Returning your equipment and supplies. Uh, that information can be found on manual page which is 30 to 31. When you come to the election office on election night, you'll bring into the office all ballots sealed in the ballot transport box. The blue book, the payroll form, padlock and keys, and the sign-in register. When you go around to the warehouse, they will empty out your metal ballot box, ballot box, voting booths, precinct maps, supply box, 
unused ballots in the unused ballot bag and all other items. Please follow the map on page 34 of the manual returning to the election office after the polls close. A week to 10 days prior to the election, you should receive your inspector packet from the office. In the packet, you will receive a letter outlining specifics for this election. In the packet, you will have cards with your precinct name on them. You'll place this in your window when you pick up your supplies the day prior to the election. In your packet, you'll have a list of your election board workers. In your packet, you'll have information specific to your precinct. In your packet, you will have information regarding the other inspector if you are in a precinct with more than one precinct. If you are in a precinct with more than one ballot style, you'll find that information in your packet as well. Please review the ballot distribution instruction sheet so that each voter gets the correct ballot. You will also have an evaluation form for your clerks and judges. Please complete and return to our office either in the sign-in register envelope or return to Scott. In your packet, you will also have a list of supplies that will be in your supply box. You will have your name tag. And finally, we just thank you for assisting us with the election. If you have any questions, please make sure you contact Scott in the election office. <laughs>